Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you the PC mod 13. Uh, I'm going to be showing you two things today, how to set up a server and a personal computer and uh, how to link them together. First thing you want to do is set up your personal computer. So, you're going to need a tower. There we go. We're also going to need a monitor. Everything that you need for a computer, you're probably going to need with this mod. Besides a mouse. Um, speakers. Like so. We'll just put them there. And then we'll grab a keyboard. There we go. Oh. Okay, now that's in place, we just want to link them all together. Oh, we can also put the IO device on as well. So, you want to head over to the wire tool. And it's pretty self explanatory VGA display. To VGA display. That's th those two are then linked together. Uh, keyboard, PC, uh, PS2 connection to PS2 connection. Uh, with the speakers, we also need a splitter. So we'll put that around the back. And then we're just going to get the wire tool, phono, phono two, uh, and then. Phone one, phone three, and then we'll go mini jack port to mini jack port, USB port to USB port, and then we should have a working computer. So what you want to do is go over to your desktop, press E on it, and it will start up. Right, okay. So now that's loaded up, you just want to go in by pressing E. So then you can have control over the uh, mouse and etc. You set your theme to Bloom or Basic. I'm just gonna sit with the basic one, uh, and then click Next. Password. I'm just gonna leave blank. Finish. Then we have a working home computer. You can install programs on this computer by using the swap. So here, install disk, password cracker, hard disk, copier, network tester, etc. Install disk is the one we're gonna use. Then we just want to scroll over to find it. Here we go. So what I want to install with this one is um, I'm going to install an Alarm Z uh, chat host. Oh no, that's the wrong operating system. That's for a printer. I mean for a uh, server. Um, so basically, you install everything that you want, like so. So they're all installed now. If you go into Start or Programs, you can see all these programs are installed and they all work. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to go into personal player and I'm going to go Half-Life and we actually have music playing which is pretty awesome right okay so we have all these programs we have a uh, personal player, chat server, alarm Z, firewall etc etc And but what can we do with that? that's a good question now first of all what I want to do is go back into PC mod and spawn in a laptop. Two laptops to be precise. We're just gonna rotate this one round and this one is on the server operating system. I wanna have another one which is on the personal operating system and then place it just here. There we go. So we're gonna to toggle power on this one and also toggle power on the other one. There we go. Some other things that you're going to need is a back route, uh, a back um, bone router or router, depending on if you're American or English, uh, and then just a standard router. There we go. So you have all these fiber optic slots. This fiber optic slot goes to here. And then this network one goes to the server. Uh, 
So, gonna click next. Uh, we'll call the server name, we'll just call it uh, YouTube. I didn't even do that right. Is that working? Oh, there we go. Oh, I forget that you have to actually type on the keyboard. <laughs> right, here we go. Y O U T U B E. There we go, YouTube. Uh, we won't bother with a password because it's only yours that's going to be accessing it. Okay, so we have all these systems uh, that we can use. But uh, what I want to do is go over to the install disk and I'm going to install chat host and print share. So, what another thing that you're going to need to do is wire each computer to the network, like so. And obviously, you can see that this laptop is on port uh, IP address 192.168.1.1, and this one is obviously on a different port, and this one is also on a different IP address. So, what I want to do is load a program. Yep. Um, oh, I need to uh, refresh, and then click here. Uh, I'm going to do chat host for this one. I'm going to enable chat host. I'm just going to go ahead and go on to this computer, uh, set this one up. Uh, we won't bother with a password like I said previously. There's no one else on. Uh, just I think all the programs can pre-install with this. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to go on chat server. If that works. See if it's working. Okay, so notepad works. Let's try and get the chat server to work. Let me just test to see if it works on the other one. Here we go, yeah. I'll just set up another computer. Um, so the IP is 192.168. One point one, uh, and we're just gonna call ourselves. Um, let's just keep it unknown for now. So we're connected to it. I'm just gonna leave this computer, and I'm gonna weld everything together. Like so, and I'm just gonna go uh, and duplicate. We'll just paste it for the other end. <laughs> I think everything's like linked together because of the uh, wires. So we're just going to remove this, uh, this one, and this one, and this one. Okay, now what we want to do is, um, I think everything's on already. No, okay, we're going to have to rewire everything. So we go back into PC mod, uh, wire tool. Uh, this one VJ display 1 to VJ IO USB uh, USB port splitter phono connection to the splitter 22 we go 23 mini jack mini jack and then obviously the keyboard as well but I missed that there we go ok and then the network is to the router there we go Right now, if we go ahead and start it up, here we go. We're in. We're loading PC mod. Your add-on for in-game networks. We go. We just need to. I think we probably need to install everything again. I oh know everything is here. Chat server. Oh, this one's not working now. Oh dear. <laughs> but basically. Um, if you have multiple computers set up, you can actually talk to people through the uh, chat. But this is required that the server is on, because if the server was off, as you can see if I disable the chat server, and then head back over to the this one, you can see server shutting down. It's very important that you actually have the um, server, otherwise this sort of thing won't work. Uh, so this add-on can like really be useful for for things such as uh, dark roleplay. You can use 
uh, like computers to talk to each other, communicate across networks. So you could have a p whole police network, and you can type to uh, police and say, um, uh, let's just be like James. Well, obviously the server's down, but if I could put like James is a criminal, uh, we need to track him down. If he's wanted, we can want him. Uh, we can send a message to the mayor telling him to warrant him. There's loads of awesome things that you can do with this mod. The final thing I'm going to show you is the printer. So you can get two different types of printers. You can get this one, which is the original from Half-Life, and then you can get this one. So you need to wire this USB port to USB port. And then if we go over to start all programs, uh, and let's just go notepad. I'm just going to write something in here like uh, LOL. Um, 909. Uh, and then we're just going to print it from the local. And that should print. Here we go. Print a document. And it has nothing on it. <laughs> Uh, I think that's because um, I didn't actually write anything on the document. Yeah, there's nothing on there. Um, I think you need to write like quite a bit. If I go... Uh, it's, it's going like up for some reason. So if I go... Uh... Let's go down a few lines. And then we, we'll just save it, we'll call it um, TT, and then we'll print, and we'll print to local, and then close, and that should print, there we go, and let's see if this one works, uh, I think it's creating some sort of low error, so uh, I guess that doesn't work at the moment, but I, I've, I've seen it work previously, uh, and the second thing that you can do is actually link the printer, I think you can link it to like a network or something, and then you could have print share, which allows for multiple printing on a server. So what you can do is if you have the printer on, um, if we put it here, and then we link the printer to the server, we can have print share enable. Oh no, disable, load program, print share, enable. And then if we go back over, if we just write something, I know this isn't probably going to work, but if we just write something, uh, click on print. And I think we can, if we put in the IP address of the server, it should print to the uh, wirelessly to the printer. Dot 1.1, 1 .1. I believe that was the IP address. Just gonna head a print, print, and it says file printed, so I guess that's worked. Yeah, so here it is. Uh, it still says nothing on it, obviously, but um, there's obviously this low error which is happening. Um, but I guess that will be fixed in the future. It still works though; like you can print across networks. It's pretty awesome. I hope that this has helped you um, set up your dream computers <laughs> in Gary's mod and also taught you about networks. It's pretty simple to do. Uh, I hope this helped and I'll see you in the next one.